In our last video, we talked about how fixed expenses and variable expenses factor into your break-even point. In this video, we're going to talk about gross profit percentage and more next in the AirPro Diagnostics Collision Garage. Knowing your break-even point is the first part of the equation of seeing your whole financial picture. You must know the cost of the jobs you repair, and you must be able to determine what your gross profit percentage is. To calculate the gross profit percentage, you divide total sales by gross profit dollars. For example, $40,000 of gross profit dollars divided by $100,000 in total sales equals 40%. Management now knows what the average gross profit percentage is on the jobs that are produced. So, based on a gross profit percentage of 40%, if the sales of a repair order are $2,000, the profit on that job is $800. Therefore, any additional cars this shop repairs will give them $2,000 more in sales and $800 more of profit. If they complete 10 additional jobs, they'll have $20,000 in additional sales and put $8,000 more profit in the bank. As we know, the expenses of a business change and there are other ways to look at break-even calculations. You could start with your fixed costs and calculate what the sales need to be. Overhead divided by static expenses divided by gross profit percentage equals true break-even point. Or $40,000 divided by 40% equals $100,000. When overhead expenses change, you'll need to recalculate what sales you need to break even. Also, your sales will change up and down depending on what your gross profit percent is. If you are making more money, profit, on each job, you'll need less in overall sales to cover the fixed expenses. As you can see, knowing the break even point of your business could drive increased profitability help with financial decisions such as the purchase of equipment and tools and help ownership have more confidence in their financial situation. I'm Jason Stahl from the AirPro Diagnostics Collision Garage. Thanks for watching.